Hey guys, Tom Davis here, America's Canon Educator. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for getting this channel to 120,000 subscribers. Um, early last year we were at 30, so we're growing very fast. I appreciate you guys very much. It's, it blows my mind. Um, but I did find this video of a seminar I did last year in Denver, Colorado. So I just grabbed somebody from the audience to get creative and help me show the, uh, the people in the seminar and then as well as you guys, how the dog conceptualizes the remote collar pressure and also the association with you. Um, and again, it's a bit classical conditioning, Pavilonian type effect where I want the dog to, to, to understand that the stimulation from the remote collar is coming from myself. And again, this is a very, very low level. It does not correct the dog. It does not hurt the dog. It's not aversive to the dog. It certainly doesn't shock the dog. Um, and so I'm just using the remote collar with the actual human, somebody in the audience to say, Hey, I'm going to put this pressure on you. And I want you to teach everybody here how it's, how it's going to shut off. So a little bit of a social experiment, but I thought it was fun and I just found it and I wanted to pop it up. If you guys like this video, don't forget, like, subscribe to my channel. Of course, the No Bad Dog giveaway is still going on. Leave a comment within three hours of this video being published and I'll pick somebody to send out some free merch. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so basically, um, when, I, when I do, when I do uh, communication with the dog, so if I were to come over here, so it's much like when you're a kid and you do like the hearing test, when the, the nurse says, okay, l raise your left or right hand when you hear the noise, <clears throat> that's what you're doing with this. Is, um, the, so I'm gonna do the vibrate, so you guys can hear it. You guys hear that? So basically when I say, I go sit, down, stay, heel at the same time, okay? Now, if I were to put a human here, um, so do you want to be? Do you want to demonstrate something for me? Sure. Cool. So just sit here facing uh, that way. Good. There you go. Our key note to this is the dog has to know what you're asking before you use a tool. Going back to my quote, it's like you can't ever correct the dog if they don't know what you're doing, unless again it's a life or death situation, or uh, you know a lot of the dogs here went through leash pressure. That was a very subtle. So basically, this is what the dog thinks of the e-collar when it's used. So you can. Um, when I, when I use the vibrate, okay, I want you to just raise one of your hands. We're gonna pretend that somebody's giving you a $100 bill every time you raise your hand, okay? okay? Don't <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say, um, so basically what I would do with the collar is I'd say sit, good. Sit, good. Sit, good. So if she's getting paid, Right? She's like, okay, pay. So it's a Pavilonian effect. She understands that the sensation, she has to do something and she's also getting rewarded for it. Now, if I do this. I'm already doing it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I said nothing, right? So what that does for, for dogs, because they live in the now and they're associating pressures and stimulations with stuff, that was a perfect example of exactly what I want the dog to do. So in human form, that was not set up or taught or we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. She felt the sensation and immediately responded to a response that she was conditioned before, prior, right? Because she wants to get paid for the $100 bill and her body, that's what our mind does. Our mind just responds to things that we feel and things that we're associating. Again, it's the, it's the Pavilonian effect. And that's why it was created, so we can help behavioral uh, problems and teach dogs new things and things like that. That was perfect. Does anybody have any questions on that? Cool, good, thank you, good.